This decision by the board did not come without a lengthy debate here at the state education department. In the end, the board voted by eight to three to raise the bar for graduation. Right now, according to state data, students who currently pass the MCAS, but just barely, often end up later doing poorly in college and getting low paying jobs. There is a relationship between achieving the graduation requirement and what happens to the rest of your life. So today, the State Board of Education voted to raise the minimum passing score for English from 472 to 486. The minimum passing score for math was already 486 and will stay the same, at least for now. The proposal we put forth is a measured proposal. It's one test, and it's not even comprehensive as the name claims. So we're saying we're going further down a hole that is more and more narrow. Some board members, state lawmakers, and the state's largest teachers union claim schools should be moving away from standardized tests, and they say these new standards will mean certain students are even less likely to get a high school diploma. So who will be most impacted by this? Which students? Guess what? Low-income students, students of color, who have long been uh, the subject of uh, discrimination and other inequities. Students start taking the graduation MCAS test in the 10th grade and get several chances to pass. Those who don't pass get additional tutoring and can qualify for an alternative path to graduation. I'll do another roll call. Member Muhammad? Yes. Although the board voted today, the new minimum scores won't take effect until the class of 2026. In other words, this fall's incoming freshmen. The board also voted to give families earlier warnings when their children aren't making the grade. And for even younger students, the board voted today to raise the standards even higher for math and for English. Beginning with the class of 2031, they'll need to get a score of 500. Ivan Molden, David Binick, WCVB News Center 5.